Water out there. Pop out of the Thank you. Uh, thank you, Lee. Okay. Uh, there have been quite a few questions about filing complaints. You should file a complaint where, whenever you see a violation. When, some, when you request a reasonable accommodation, such as a grab bar, such as uh, wider doors, a ramp, a motorized lift, even a higher toilet, uh, and, and your landlord or the provider denies you that, and then you go on a, have to file a complaint. Now, there's, there are fair housing agencies throughout the country where you can go and file a complaint. You could also go uh, online and file a complaint with HUD, or you can go to the HUD local offices, we have, they have rich regions throughout the country, uh, and then they have satellites in major cities. You can go to them and also file a complaint with the Housing and Urban Development. Okay? There's two types of complaints that you can file or that you can apply for. Um, one, if you are in, if you living in a, in a dwelling where does not you are not they're not receiving public funding. In other words, that that is a, it's privately owned. There's no money coming from the federal government, and then you can file a complaint under the Fair Housing Act. Okay, under the Fair Housing Act, you can file a complaint. Now, each state also has what is called state state uh, 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 human rights commissions or state uh, state agencies where you could also file a complaint with the state. Uh, in those areas where there's not a HUD office, there has to be a state office that is equivalent to HUD. And then there you can file a complaint as well. Also, many other states have individual uh, also uh, laws, state laws, that, that cover people with disabilities in, their, in housing. You can also find out uh, if you can also file a complaint in that area. Okay? Uh, and then there is the other complaint called 504 complaint. And that's where the entity or the dwelling where you're living at is receiving public funds. If you know that your um, that that your dwelling where you're living at is receiving public funds because they have uh, project-based housing, that means there's a subsidized unit, and that you know automatically that that that, that housing uh, is receiving public funds. If not, you have to follow the money. You have to find out who the corporation is that owns or manages those uh, those dwellings and follow the money try and find out if they are if they have if they are running any type of uh, uh, of, of uh, projects that are federally funded uh, recently just last week I was up in uh, Valparaiso Indiana in a dwelling and where they were only taking tax credits but usually uh, like Steve Paul always says when they are receiving tax credits they're more more likely that they're receiving also all, all other type of uh, of funding, and that was the case in this case. They were receiving uh, funding uh, to house uh, better women. So there was federal funds, and that automatically triggered 504. They had to comply with 504. In other words, the, that accommodation, if someone needed a wider door or the grab bars, it had to be paid by the provider, okay? And also, they had to have 5%, which is a minimum requirement, 5% of fully accessible unit. Fully accessible unit is that kind of unit and where the kitchens and the bathrooms have a five foot radius and where you, if a wheelchair user, you can do a wheelie. Okay? So, that's, let's keep that in mind. Okay? It's very easy to file a complaint. Uh, you have to take documentation. It's very, very important to find out who the person and when and what time they denied you that that accommodation. It's best to do it on writing, asking them and giving them a deadline, five, ten working days to give you a written response. So uh, it's very important that you save all the documentation and every time you have communications with the provider or with management company, if there are any other witnesses, also put down their name, okay? And they have all, the, all that documentation so when the investigator comes, and does to do and do the investigating about your complaint, you can show them that you have documentation uh, that you were denied the reasonable accommodation and who the witnesses were as well. Okay? Uh, is that uh, something clear? I don't know if Steve wants to add anything to it. I don't know where Steve is at.